What up? This is Ramashko in covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Hulu's new limited series, Welcome to Chippendales. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. Okay, so just from this past year alone, Hulu gave us Pam and Tommy, The Dropout, The Girl from Plainville, and now, Welcome to Chippendales. Maybe it's just me, but Hulu is cornering the market of narrative dramas based on true crimes. Or at least that's the appearance that they're giving off. But can you blame them? These kinds of stories are the best. Especially with Welcome to Chippendales, which leaves so much room for absurdity, on top of it being a heavy hitter that tackles greed, murder, and the age of decadence. Welcome to Chippendales is totally wicked. It's so tense, yet so wild. It's so admirable, yet so horrifying. It's a tale of an American dream gone terribly wrong. And all because the characters are their own worst enemies. The writing is top-notch. The grainy retro designs look authentic. The show is perfectly cast. And Kumail Nanjiani gives an Emmy-worthy performance. Who knew that one of the world's most famous male strip clubs has an origin soaked in blood. Directed by Matt Shackman with Robert Siegel and Jenny Connor serving as co-showrunners, a sprawling true crime saga, Welcome to Chippendales tells the outrageous story of showman Steve Banerjee, an Indian immigrant who became the unlikely founder of the world's greatest male stripping empire and let nothing stand in his way in the process. Starring Kumail Nanjiani, Murray Bartlett, Juliette Lewis, and Annalie Ashford, co-starring Robin De Jesus, Nicola Peltz Beckham, and Dan Stevens. Our most searing memory of Chippendales is actually the Saturday Night Live sketch about Chippendales starring two late greats, Patrick Swayze and Chris Farley. Come on, let's be honest. That's usually the first thing that comes to mind for those of us who are old enough to remember it. An iconic skit, if ever there was one. While the actual Chippendales itself was far from hilarious, this show manages to infuse an excellent sense of humor that stems from the characters' struggle with their own personal demons. If you recall, there was that TV movie a couple of decades ago called The Chippendales Murder, starring Navin Andrews in the lead role. That one had a cheap B-level production quality, whereas this one, is very well put together, and it's very methodical throughout eight episodes. It's such an unbelievable chain of events, the story practically writes itself. Now, the big highlights of this show are of course the dance choreographies. They are inventive and smashing and full of surprises, and hats off to the muscle-bound actors who play the dancers, because they are game for all of it. And the script is very measured in establishing how groundbreaking Chippendales truly was. It gradually places when they would introduce the shirtless collar, the tearaway pants, the next expansion idea. You really fully get the sense of the rise of Chippendales to the point where you're kind of cheering it on. That is, of course, before the downfall comes from around the corner. Big up to Kumail Nanjiani whose dramatic chops are put to the test, and he passes with flying colors. His character Steve Banerjee is a real piece of work. He's the perfect illustration of a self-loathing person who can't count his blessings. Actress Annalie Ashford is equally fantastic as Steve's long-suffering, incredibly smart wife. And Kumail's other co-star, Murray Bartlett, is also spectacular and should not be ignored. Murray plays Nick DeNoia with such flamboyant ferocity. You know, the irony of all this is that Steve and Nick could have been a great entrepreneurial duo if their insecurity and their egos would just get out of their way. Hell, if Steve and Nick were one and the same person, that combo would have been unstoppable. I mean, that's how most business partnerships are out there anyway. You have the behind-the-scenes brain, Wozniak, and you have the face of the operation, Steve Jobs. Unfortunately for Steve Banerjee and Nick DeNoya, they were competing for the same spotlight. 
Nick is slimy and manipulative, and Steve just won't let things go. Man, what a hell of a miniseries this is. Welcome to Chippendales is intoxicating.